Welcome everybody to Clarington Kia. Today we're going to take you on a tour of this 2020 Honda Civic Sport. Just over 70,000 kilometers on this car and it is in fantastic shape. And that's what we're going to do today. Take you on a tour of the condition of the vehicle as well as some of the great features on the Civic Sport. And I mean, first off, look at the color on this. Absolutely incredible bright red with those black polished, uh, not polished, but piano finish exterior features. It looks incredible. And let's, uh, let's get a little deeper dive in here. So taking a look at this front quarter shot and moving around to the driver's side, the paint is in fantastic condition. I will show you any little dings, dents, scratches that we find uh, so that way you don't have to pause or zoom in. You're going to see them all as we do this video here. But take a look at these really great looking polished black alloy wheels. These are, I'm trying to find the tires. I think they're 17 inch. Oh no, they're 18 inch on this, on the Sport. So nice 18 inch tires and wheels. They look fantastic. Again, looking at the nice chrome trim around the door handle or around the windows here. Just two little marks right here in the paint. A Little bit of touch up on here. That's gonna kind of blend itself right in and we'll get rid of that for you. But that's really about the only thing that I've noticed on this car that was really sticking out. Okay, now moving around here, take a look at the back of the vehicle. Nice LED tail lights that wrap right around in here and then go into that nice integrated little lip spoiler on the back of the trunk. You can see there the sport badge. The rear bumper is in really, really nice shape. Nothing along there to report. And then one of the cool things on the sport is this center exhaust with this really nice looking diffuser at the back here. So that keeps it looking obviously very sporty, hence the name sport. Coming around to the passenger side, this side is in great condition as well. And you'll notice here, I don't know if you saw it, but there is a camera here and that's for the blind spot monitor. So when you turn on the uh, turn signal, it activates that camera and then you can see that. So that way you don't go pulling into traffic when you're making a lane change. Front bumper looks fantastic. You can see the nice fog lights down below and there's that piano black exterior accents that I was telling you about. The hood looks fantastic. Just a couple little stone chips here. Nothing really to be concerned about. Again, we'll get the red touch-up paint for this. We'll leave it in the car as well for you. So that way, once we're done touching it up, it'll be available for you to take home in case. A couple more of these little things happen, right? Inside, rear seats look great. Nice leather bolstering, armrest there. Car smells fantastic. Definitely a non-smoker vehicle. And then looking inside here, so we've got really nice condition front seat. We've got the power tilt and slide center, and then the driver's seat as well is in great, great condition. And it is a power driver's seat too, which just helps you get that seat even more comfortable with the minute little adjustments that you can make. So, oh, I turn the radio down here. So looking up here, we have some of our advanced safety features, so the forward collision warning, the lane departure, uh, and lane keep assist is all there too. You can turn on or off. Why you'd want to turn it off, I'm not sure, but you can if you like. You can see here on the steering wheel, we've got our radio controls, our Bluetooth controls, our advanced cruise controls here on this side, as well as the uh, highway driving assist feature here. We do have paddle shifters on the Sport model, so you can go through the gears manually if you'd like automatic headlights of course and then taking a look here in the center gauge we've got 71,112 kilometers on this and a really really nice digital display here for the center for the gauges um, and there's a wide variety of things that you can pull up uh, in the center gauge here by using the menu button to give you you know whether you want the trip computer or uh, your radio station what have you it all kind of displays there and one quick thing that I just noticed look at the average fuel economy 6.5 liters per hundred and that's primarily why the honda civic has been the best-selling vehicle in canada for so many years because the tremendous fuel economy and then look at the vehicle this doesn't look like the civic for the 90s and from the early 2000s they've really really upgraded these vehicles over time to make it much more luxurious much more sporty um, and suit more of the everyday car that you're looking for rather than just what it used to be, which was a cheap economical car. They're miles ahead of that now. You can see the nice touchscreen display here. Uh, when I put it in reverse, of course, you have the rear view camera 
Uh, one of the cool things I like about this though is it's got a couple different angles for you. So that's very top down. So if you're trying to park into a really tight spot, you can see how close you are with the bumper, your regular angle, and then the widescreen angle. I don't personally like the widescreen. It looks really, really kind of um, contorted, but nonetheless, you may need it or may like it for some reason and you can use that, whatever you'd like. Back into uh, park here. And then when I put on the turn signal, I wonder if it will do it. Yeah, it does even in park. Look at that, so that's that side uh, mirror there, that camera being activated. So when you go to make a lane change, you can see it right there in the uh, display, which is fantastic. Obviously, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto is all available on this one as well. We have automatic climate control for driver and passenger in a Civic, which is a wild thing to have. This should only be reserved for, you know, more expensive vehicles, but it is available in the Civic. So driver and passenger independent temperatures. We have heated seats for driver and passenger as well. They're three stage, which is very nice. You can get them really nice and comfortable. And then before we go along down here, the shifter, there's something to note. Take a look here. So you do have some under uh, storage here under the center console, and you also have your USB plugs down there. So, you know, room for little knickknacks and things like that. And then taking a look at the pedal and these nice Jordans, but we've got aluminum pedals as part of the sport model as well. Now, looking at the shifter, everything looks nice and tidy here electronic parking brake on this model with brake hold uh, if you don't know what brake hold does with that on you can come to a stoplight and once you come to a complete stop you can take your foot off of the brake it will hold the car there that is also fantastic for stop and go traffic really makes uh, stop and go traffic less of a annoyance for you the econ mode button there too to achieve that amazing 6.5 liters per hundred center console um, cup holders you can slide this out of the way too just by pinching here and sliding another usb port down there enough room here for a stanley if you are using that and then last but not least here on the key fob we've got remote spark uh, rem <laughs> remote smart remote start on uh the sport model as well so you can get the car uh nice and comfortable uh whether it's summer or winter let's face it you either want to warm it up or cool it down because we get uh, pretty humid here in the summertime but unfortunately we are far away from that it is a rainy day here at Clayton Kia but this is a really sunny side sunny find no, I butchered that line eh <laughs> all right guys listen this 2020 Civic just over 71,000 kilometers sport model red on this beautiful piano black is here and ready for you ClayingtonKia.ca or visit us in store in Bowmanville we're just a short drive from Toronto but we do service all of Ontario online at clearingtonkia.ca. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and congratulations to whoever picks up this beautiful Civic Sport. See you soon.